Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this DaVinci Resolve tutorial, I'm going to be guiding you through the process of taking a shot that is plagued with color casts and fixing it to appear more naturally. The process that we're going to be going through is called white balance. The way we go about fixing white balance is inside a shot is by feeding the shot opposite colors to even it out. Now before we get started, if you want to see more DaVinci Resolve tutorials, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. Also, if you have any tips or advice on white balancing or color correcting inside of DaVinci Resolve, I would love to hear them if you leave them in the comments section below, and I will do my best to acknowledge them. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So here we are inside of DaVinci Resolve, and we are inside the color tab, and as you can see, our shot here is way off color-wise. Some of the blacks inside of this shot are covered with magenta tones. Now, how do we do this? Let's start off by targeting a neutral color. There are three neutral colors, black, gray, and white. So let's start off by targeting a black area inside of the shot, like one of these bars. So what we can do is go to the Windows tab and choose our Point Curve tool. And then we can click on the shot and start drawing a mask on an area of the bar. And once we have our mask drawn, we can focus on that selection by clicking on the magic wand key. And once we have our selection highlighted, we can go over to the scopes panel, click on the drop down menu and select vector scope. And once we're inside of the vector scope panel, you'll see a small white blob. This white blob represents the information inside of our shot based on our selection. Now what we need to do is move that white blob towards the center of the scope so that our color is more neutral. And there's a few ways you can go about doing that. You can either play around with the color wheels or the temperature and tint settings, or you can use the curves, which is actually my main preference. So let's jump over to the curve settings and since we are working with dark colors, we'll need to move the bottom curve points to get that white blob in the vector scope to the center. So let's start off by clicking on the red channel and we'll drag the bottom point towards the right. And once that white blob reaches the line, we can go ahead and move on to the green channel and do the same thing as the red. Since moving the bottom green dot moves the white blob above the line, we'll want to avoid using the green channel and move on to the blue channel. Now, as you can see, we were able to move the white blob closer to the center, but it's still above the center area, so let's go back to the red and drag it more to the right. Now that it's more centered, Let's go ahead and turn our mask off by going to the Window tab and clicking on our Point Curve tool. Now, as you can see, that has made a huge difference. We can compare our before and after by right-clicking on our shot and selecting Split Screen, and then Version and Version Original. See how far we have come with just that small adjustment? We can go ahead and exit the Split Screen mode by clicking on the key with the six squares. Now let's go ahead and work with the gray areas. The best gray area that I can think of is the rooftop. So let's add another node by right clicking on our first node and select add node and then add serial. Next, let's go over to our windows tab if you're not already there and then click on our point curve tool and draw a selection on the rooftop. Now inside of our vector scopes panel, that white blob is slightly above the center. So let's do the same thing as we did before by going to the curves panel. And since gray areas represent midtones, we will want to play with the middle points on the curves line. So inside our red channel, let's go ahead and click on the middle of the line and drag it down until the white blob is closer to the center. Next, we'll do the same thing by going to the green channel. Now, since moving the green line moves the white blob away from the center, we'll leave that alone and go to the blue channel and do the same thing. Now, 
Now that our white blob is centered, let's go ahead and shut our selection off by going to the Windows tab and clicking on the point curve. Now, if you want to see our before and after changes with our second node, just make sure that the second node is selected and then push Control and D to shut it off and on. We can also go to split screen mode by clicking on the split screen key to view our before and after shots. Now let's move on to the white. We'll go ahead and add another node and do the same thing as before by drawing a mask on a white area. And it looks like our whites are good in this shot. So we don't have to worry about that. So let's go ahead and reset our node by right clicking on the node and select reset node grade. Now we'll go ahead and add some contrast and exposure to our shot. So let's switch from vector scope to waveform. And as you can see, there is a line across the scope that is above the baseline. So let's move that down by going to the curves and we'll click on the Y key to access the luminosity controls. Now we'll go ahead and take the bottom point and drag it to the right until that line touches the baseline. Now if you look at the top, you'll notice the waveform is above the ceiling. So let's bring it down by clicking on the top point and dragging it down. Now we'll go ahead and even the midtones out by clicking and dragging the middle point down. Now that looks much sharper. Here's our before and after with the contrast adjustment. So there you have it everyone. That's how we go through the process of white balancing a shot in DaVinci Resolve. Once again, if you want to see more tutorials, don't forget to subscribe and hit that thumbs up button. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.